Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net, and I am not wearing a GN shirt for once because I'm being really lazy, so this is not actually a special occasion, uh, but it is somewhat interesting because I'm doing a quick overview here of some new CLCs from NZXT. I can't benchmark these yet because we're waiting on some software updates for the review samples, but I can show you what we have here. So this is the new X61, and next to me we have the X41. And these are one digit increments over their X60 and X40 predecessors, which were also supplied by Aztec. So these are CLCs, they are closed loop liquid coolers, and uh, we've got one that fits two 140 millimeter fans and one that fits one 140 millimeter fan. And beyond that, pretty much the, the major changes for these are going to be software side. These actually link up to NZXT's new CAM software. So that's kind of cool. It's very useful if you want to control the LED color on the, uh, on the top of the pump through CAM. Or if you want to control the pump speed, this is a variable pump speed uh, pump, <laughs> go figure, on the CLC. So that is quite unlike most other CLCs on the market. NZXT claims to be the first. However... I believe I could change the pump speeds on at least one other product in the past, and I think it was Antex 1250, but I may be wrong on that. That may have been a fan speed. Check out our reviews on the website if you want to see what I'm talking about. I'm sure it is on there. So we have controllable pump speed, which ultimately means lower noise levels, and you can kind of moderate the thermals in that regard. I would imagine for the most part, you really don't want to run the pump at max speed because it, it will be... A tiny bit louder. Uh, for most users, you're going to be safe running around the mid-range, and then there is a silent setting as well if you're running this on, say, an HTPC where you're really going to notice every tiny amount of noise coming out of the box because maybe it's running your movies or something like that. So that's what we've got here. I just wanted to show these off. This, again, X61 and the X41. I cannot yet state whether I think these are worth buying, so don't go buy them just yet. Wait for the full review, which will hopefully be online by the end of this week, depending on when NZXT gets the drivers going. Uh, so wait for the full review before buying. And just basing off the original X40 and X60, they were pretty good coolers. I believe the H110 slightly outperformed the X60, but ultimately in my review, I determined that I preferred the X60 and X40 because they had software control for the fan speeds, whereas the H110 did not. Uh, Corsair's i-series coolers are the only ones that use software control. So the software control makes a huge difference because you can mitigate the noise levels and the noise level on these stock fans can be pretty loud when they're run at maximum voltage. This is the fan NZXT has changed the design slightly here. It's actually going to absorb sound or uh, absorb vibration, excuse me, much better now. Uh, they have these added rubber dampers here on the on the sides, the corners where you're actually mounting it. And they've got a couple of changes going on just in the chassis of the fan in general. I'm sure that is for airflow or thermal purposes. I don't really know that it does, uh, it does much for you in the way of appearance. It does look a little bit cooler, but it's a fan, so who cares, right? So that's what we've got. Check the uh, subscribe to the channel for the full review when I have that ready for you. In the meantime, hit the website, check out the cool stuff. We've got a lot of stuff up there as of this past week. And I will see you all next time. Peace. What do I do with all this stuff? I'm trapped.